Hey there, my name is Moala, and in this tutorial, I want to continue talking about lazy loading in custom list view. And here, I want to use pre optimized custom list view library. This will be the final result of this session. As you see, I have a long list of words, and I can scroll up and down, and that is fast scroll, which helps me to go to any part of the list. So we have our data, here we have a list of 10,000 words, and we want to show them in custom list view. To load all the items, which is 10,000 words, that's a long list, we can use pre-optimized custom list view, which handles lazy loading for us easily. So here is my project. I have my data here, list of words. Let me go to the end of the list. And as you see, I have 10,000 words. That's a long list. And that's heavy for custom list view, but not with pre-optimized custom list view. So let's add one custom list view to our main layout. First, we need to go to library tab and to add custom list view, we can type XUI views here. Let's go to the layout. So I don't need this button and I can add one custom list view. Let's make it bigger to cover the whole activity. And let's change the anchor. We need the definition of custom list view. So, so we define custom list view here. To do it, we need to deal with two subs. The first one is activity curate. Inside Activity Curate, we can initialize the pre-optimized custom list view. And after initializing, we can add our data to this variable. The other sub that we need to deal with that is custom list view visible range. The first thing is making the required items visible. Maybe you are familiar with this concept in my previous tutorial. And the other thing is loading the layout and changing the value of the views inside that layout. So let's see how we can do them in basic file Android. So we need to add another library, pre-optimized custom list view. If you don't have this library, you can find it here in this link. You can search for this title. And actually in this tutorial, I want to explain this example exactly the same one. And here is the library. So you can download it here. Okay, let's add the definition here. Private pre-optimized custom list view as pre-optimized custom list view. Let's initialize that here. First thing is callback. That is same activity. So we can simply type me the second one is event name. Later we will need this. So let's name the name of the variable itself. And then at the end, you need the custom list view, which is here. So this way you can connect this variable to custom list view. And when you add the value to this variable, actually you added the value to custom list view. Okay. Now we need to load our data, maybe from database, from a file like this, or anywhere. So, because this is a list of words, we can define a list. Let's define that. And now we can load this file inside this list by file read list. And the address and the file name which is file directory assets and the name of the file is english.txt now it's time to add this list to pre-optimized custom list view we can use for statement and we can use for each statement it's better to use this one, but for now, let me explain this one because this is easier to understand. So for i, which is equal to zero to words dot size, 
minus one and then I need to have access to each word of this list so I can define another variable word variable as a string because our data is a string and then I can make that equal to words dot get and we need index we can get it from I and now I can add my word this variable to pre-optimized custom list view so pre-optimized custom list view dot add item we need three things size color and value let's look at final result size which is 50 dip here and then color here is white and then value the word here this one this is the value so the first one is size the height of each item 50 dip and the color this is the best practice to change the color color dot white for example and the last thing is our value which is prepared here in this variable so here we simply type word okay here we used for a statement but what about if you want to use for each statement so for each word as a string let me copy it from here inside this variable inside my list so it defines one variable and change that in each item of this list and then I need to copy this one so as you see that is shorter and better practice so let's make it commented and the last thing that you need to do here is committing your code the rest of the process needs to be done in custom list view underline visible range to have it in our activity let's go to this layout again let's add this one visible range changed I explained that more in my previous tutorial so that is added here there are two things that I want to do in this event in this sub let me paste them here the first thing that I want to do I want pre-optimized custom list view to make some items visible which items from first index from this one to last index to this one so that can be done again with for each statement so I type for each statement I as integer inside pre-optimized custom list view dot visible range changed from first index to last index and now inside for each statement I want to load the layout for each item and then I want to change the value of each view inside that layout first we need to create this layout so let's go to designer again and let's create a new one one label maybe it can cover the whole layout let's change the anchor and uh, let me change this animation let's make it zero we need a name for our item okay I want to have access to each item of this list how to have access this way I can define one item variable as custom list view item and I can make that equal to custom list view get raw list item which needs one index this I comes from here and this one comes from first index to last index so each time that is different let's see what we have inside this variable item dot we can change the color we can check 
whether that is initialized or not and we can have access to the panel to the panel of each item and then inside that panel we can add one view I can type dmp as panel but as I told you before in previous tutorial it's better to use before views so we can say before views and then we can make that equal to one panel this way and now we can add this panel to each item from left left zero top zero the width of this item can be equal to the width of item itself so i can type item dot panel dot dot width and even the height i can get it from item height itself item dot panel dot height and now i can load my layout inside this panel p dot load layout so far what we did is accessing each item inside custom list view making one panel adding that panel to each item and loading the layout inside that panel and now we need to change the value of that label which was inside this layout so we need the definition of that label so let's create the definition of this label which is added here and now we can change the value label.txt equal to so where is that value we already added that to pre-optimized custom list view and pre-optimized custom list view is connected to custom list view itself here we have access to each item inside that custom list view and as you see the value is already there let's see the project here is our project i can scroll up and down and here i can go to the end of the list but how to find one word let's look at the final result this is the final result as you see when i hold this fast scroll i can see some words in the middle of the activity how to add that one let's do it as i told you before we added one event to pre-optimize custom list view let's see which kind of event we have sub pre-optimize custom list view there is only one sub which is hint requested and the name needs to be exactly like this one pre-optimize custom list view let's see what we have here we have access to one index and we need to return something so let's return this index itself return index let's rerun the application so when i use this fast scroll you can see that index in the middle of the activity so what we want to do is showing the word instead of this number so how to have access to that word this way let's define another string variable and how to have access to the value of each item this way it needs the index of that item inside custom list view and we have the index here so let's return that word instead of index let's rerun the application and here is the final result very good as I told you before, it's better to check this topic inside this forum. You can find the same example which I explained for you here in the library and more complicated example here. 
I hope you enjoy my tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe in my channel and hit that bell to be notified for my other tutorials. And if you like this video, please hit that thumb button.